Hello, I'm Ranger Jeremy Hulse, and welcome to the final episode of our five-part series, Maple Mondays. We'd like to thank all of you who have joined us for our first ever virtual maple syrup festival, as well as the friends of Cunningham Falls and Gambrel State Park, who organized the event. Friends groups are some of the park's most committed partners, and events like this are critical to their success. Please visit CunninghamGambrel.org, where you can find more information about the festival and shop for local made syrup and other maple products. In this last episode, we are going to share our recipe for easy, perfect pancakes every time. We start by adding the dry ingredients together in a large mixing bowl. Two cups of all-purpose flour, four teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. Then just whisk to combine. Next, in a large measuring cup, we will start with one and a half cups of milk, then add two eggs, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, three tablespoons of granulated sugar, and we'll mix all that together as well. Now pour the contents of the measuring cup into the mixing bowl and whisk just long enough to bring it all together and then let it rest for 10 minutes. Over whisking can cause the pancakes to become less fluffy. To cook the pancakes, place a half tablespoon of vegetable oil onto a cold griddle and spread it evenly with a paper towel or spatula. Now set the temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. When the griddle is hot, gently pour the batter about a quarter cup at a time to form each pancake and let it cook for two to three minutes. Once the pancake has cooked for a bit, you can gently lift an edge up and look for a nice golden brown. When the timing is right, give it a flip and allow it to cook for another one to two minutes. Cooking the second side will not take as long. Once both sides are done, remove the pancake from the griddle and repeat until the batter is gone. Lastly, and most importantly, don't forget to add some delicious Maryland made maple syrup. Now that's good. Thanks again for joining us. If you love maple syrup as much as we do, make a plan to attend our annual maple syrup festival where you can find tons of information, active demonstrations, and a whole lot more. Call the park office, check out our website, or go to cunninghamgambrel.org for details and dates.